Let's take a look of this limit. The limit as x goes to 1, x to the 1000 power minus 1 over x minus 1. If we plug in 1 into this 2x, we are going to end up with 0 over 0. So we have to do more work. However, by looking at the numerator, it's pretty hard to factor out x to the 1000 power minus 1. But it's possible, it's just really hard. We are not going to do that. We are not going to factor this out. Because this particular limit actually represents something. And the secret is that this limit, it represents the derivative of some function at x is equal to 1. And the function is, let me just write this down, where the function that we are talking about is x to the 1000th power. And let me just give you this information first. And I'm going to work backwards to show you why this is the case. We use the definition 1 to come up with that limit. But let me just finish the question first. If today I tell you to find me the derivative of some function at x equal to 1, and you know the function is x to the 1000th power, Perhaps the way that you would like to do it is just use the power rule, right? So I will do that. So to differentiate f of x, I get f prime of x. I can just bring the power to the front and minus 1 to the exponent, which I will get 1000 times x to the 999. I'm looking for when x is equal to 1. I just need to plug in 1 to x. So f prime of 1 is equal to 1000 times 1 to the 999, which is of course 1000 times 1, we have just 1000 for the answer. So we know this right here, the answer will be 1000. Okay, now let me take some time to convince you that this limit actually represents the derivative of x to the 1000 power and x is equal to 1. So remember that when we first learn about derivatives, we have to define derivative in terms of limit. Given f of x equals to x to the 1000 power, and if I want to find the derivative of this at x is equal to 1, let me write this as f prime of 1. We have two definitions, and for definition number 1, it's a limit as x goes to the number that we're looking for, which is 1. And here we are going to get f of x minus f of 1 over x minus 1. And that's definition 1. We also have definition 2. And definition 2 is the one with h. This is the limit as h goes to 0. And we will have f of 1 plus h minus f of 1 over h. So if you think about the question earlier, this. So as you can see, this limit is secretly the definition 1 when you have x to the 1000 power and the a value is equal to 1. f of x is equal to x to the 1000 power and if you plug in 1, 1 to the 1000 power, you also get that. You see, f of x is x to the 1000 power, 1 to the 1000 power, you also get 1 and divided by x minus 1. That's why Notice that this limit is secretly just a derivative equation. So you change this question to a derivative equation, and I can use the pole rule for that. And that's it.